So three, two, one. Hi, hi, I'm Peggy Simmingson. I'm Robin Josias. And we're talking about open educational resources for K-12 teachers. So what do you think about OERs, open education resources, and how can teachers use them? I think one of the hardest things, Peggy, for teachers is making their way through the muck of all of the resources that are out there. Mm. It feels like every time I go searching for something that I want, I run across so many paywalls or things that aren't of high quality. Mm. So I think one of the big challenges and the big needs for a lot of teachers is easy, accessible, open resources that they can adapt for their own classrooms and their own students. I know you've done a ton of work in this area. What do you think of OERs? I am so interested in them. I was a bilingual third grade teacher and I was always hunting for resources. And so I think they're more abundant right now, but like you said, it can be overwhelming finding good things. Um, so I think when we find them, we need to share them with each other, you know, um, have a repository. And then my big thing is I am a big fan of teachers and other people, anyone, librarians, helping to create new open resources. Like we all need to start authoring content, whether it's, you know, just a handout or all the way up to a book or even children's books. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And the great thing about OERs too is the remixing aspect. So yeah. if it's licensed to be an open educational resource, mm -hmm. that means teachers can add to, they can adapt, they can create, they can accommodate and add modifications for their own students. Mm -hmm. And I think by sharing those resources, we're not always having to reinvent the wheel or to start from scratch. It's we're building from something and tweaking it and making it better so that yeah. it's more useful and accessible to more students and more teachers. Yeah, so that whole idea of not just finding things, but finding things and then modifying it if it's openly licensed in that way. So that's a great idea. And I think the, the website is at creativecommons.org. Yeah, I think that's the easiest way to sort of apply or research or learn about open educational resource licensing. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a great resource, I think, for anyone who's interested in this area. Yeah, so we advocate for teachers uh, re reusing content, open content, good open content remixing open content or building your own open content. And I think with, yeah, with the switch to more virtual and hybrid teaching in the pandemic, yeah. it's even more important, right, that we can share resources for our students and also for their parents mm -hmm. who are often looking for really good resources out there. Yeah, parents want to be able to see what their children are learning and open education resources are so easy to access. Absolutely. So great. Well, thank you so much. Bye, Peggy. Bye.